Hi everyone and welcome back to this edition of Brave Briefings, where brave men and women come together and share either their stories or their tips on living a safe and peaceful life devoid of harassment, sexual or gender-based violence. Are you brave? Hi, I am Lois from Walking Without Skin and today I have another brave woman with me and I'd love to welcome Rakaya Khan. Hi Rakaya. Hi, thank you so much for having me on your show. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to, great to have you. Would you like to tell our viewers a little bit, a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, so I am known as the smile strategist and I've been I've been given this title since 2018 when I started running workshops based on my smile strategy. Um, I presented on the TEDx stage and I came up with the with with a with a speech which had a great message but I wasn't a trained orator. So if you ask me, am I brave? Yes, I am, because I take up these opportunities without being fully equipped. And I say, yes, bring it on. And I'm going to learn along the way. So uh, I'm, a, I'm a master practitioner of NLP. I am certified by the International Coaching Federation. I'm a PCC level coach, life coach. And um, I use my strategy to create more better conversations within corporate spaces, within education hubs. I run masterminds, I do one-to-one -one coaching. And why I, was, uh, why I was attracted to your concept is because it's also powerful when a person can be brave, right? When we take that one step forward and trust ourselves. So that is why I said, okay, I love what she's doing and I just have to speak to her. So thank you for acknowledging and, and having me on board once again. Well, thank you. And I love that, um, the trust, the trust element. Yes, it's something, unfortunately, there's no T in brave. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but trust is definitely an important element to the whole concept of being brave. So thank you for bringing that to, to the table. Right, so you wanted to talk about the B of brave, boundaries. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, the boundaries I'd like to speak about is the boundaries in our mind. You know, we're talking, we talk about boundaries that we need to set with people. That's great. But even before that, I think you need to set boundaries in your mind, basically understand which thoughts you want to let into your space and which thoughts you would like to kind of say, thank you, but no thank you. So those boundaries are the ones that I'd like to speak on because my smile strategy, the very first alphabet is silence your mind. Wherein if you're st in a stuck situation, you move from feeling stuck to unstuck using gratitude and acceptance. And I say acceptance comes when you smile. And the very first part of smile within my strategy is silence the mind. So if you can set your boundaries on which thoughts you're letting into your space and which thoughts you're, you're not going to allow, that makes a massive difference in the way you take your decisions, the way you move on in your relationships, uh, just the way you are being, you know. So that I believe is is very important when it comes to setting boundaries. That is such a lovely take on on boundaries. It's something I had not considered. So mm. silent the mind. How do we do that? So one of the techniques I use is, of course, uh, focusing on breath work. Uh, so when you're breathing, when you're focusing on your breath, just focusing for a bit on how you feel when you're taking in your breath, uh, how, that, how, the, how the air feels when it's going in, when it's coming out, the temperature, just focusing on that. Or if, if you're really, really new to this whole concept, if you could just count as you take in your breath, you know, count one to four breathing in, hold for one, two, three, four, and then release one, two, three, four. So it's like a, if, you, if, if it, you were walking around along a square, so breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, repeat. And I've done this exercise with 
thousands of people. And every time I ask them, were you able to think of anything while you were doing the counting and the breathing? And, and around 90% of them say no, because they're so focused on counting at the time that they kind of um, the other thoughts just don't come in. Right, so now we've silenced our minds. How can mm -hmm. that work with stopping harassment? How can that come with stopping harassment is because when we are facing harassment, there's a story. There's a story that we're telling ourselves, either about the person who's harassing us or about our own selves who are being victims. So if you can just silence your mind and not be in that story, then you are able to manage your attention, which is part of the smile strategy once again, right? Because you are shifting your attention from being the victim to looking at the story from a new perspective altogether. So you, you change the story in your mind when, and, and you can only change the story when you kind of silence out the first story in the first place. Oh, that is, it, it's actually such an easy process and we don't do it. Why do you think we don't do it? Why do I think, because, um, Okay, this might seem like I'm speaking about the smile strategy, but I'm just so glued with it. <laughs> so I is intention, right? So when you decide not to be the victim, that's when you kind of take complete ownership. And sometimes I'm, I'm just going to play the devil's advocate because sometimes when you play the victim, it's easier. You are in a... Com I, it's, un, it's an uncomfortable comfort zone, but imagine to break out of that victim mode and to take ownership, to speak up, sometimes can be a, a little daunting for some of us. So we kind of hold back and we say, uh, yeah, this is happening to me, uh, but I can do nothing about it because to do something about it, I would have to speak up, right? It's kind of like the chicken and the egg, which came first. <laughs> Which came first? Tell me. <laughs> I wouldn't know. All I know is being brave comes before anything else. Oh, I love that. Well, I'm now intrigued with your smile strategy. Would you like to share the other letters of it? Definitely. So L stands for let things go, which is any kind of fears that you might have, any kind of past experiences of failure that you might have, any labels that you might have taken up upon yourselves, you know? anything that you that isn't serving you, letting it go. We tend to, uh, and forgiveness. When you have been a victim someplace, what if you could forgive yourself first for allowing yourself to be in that victim space and then forgive the person who, who harassed you? A tough one, I know. But when you forgive, like really, really forgive, I'm not asking you to forget, I'm just saying forgive. If you forgive and let go of that emotional baggage, that's when you're free enough to be more brave in future relationships, in future experiences. And E is energize the possibilities. Because you know, you're doing an amazing job with these, with the show and with this, these conversations. And there might be so many nuggets of wisdom that people are sharing with you. But if people are just going to listen in and not put any of it into action, uh, the, them breaking out of that victim mode is going to be a little tough because just, just listening, you know, you need to put it into action. So energize the possibilities. Oh, I love that. You didn't tell us what the M stood for. Manage your attention. Um, okay. <laughs> and, and attention, not the manage. Okay. Yes, manage your attention. Fabulous. I do. I do love that. And uh, it, it makes me smile. <laughs> That's the intention. <laughs> Thank wow. you. So we start by silencing our minds. It's such a such a valuable nugget of information. And I think we should all be working on that mindfulness. It's so important uh, in this in this world of ours, which is so busy and we, we, we suffer so much from overwhelm. So that's True. great. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you. So everybody, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, and know that you too can be brave. Do come and join us. Do come and be brave. Let's together work together to stop this, pan this silent pandemic, the scourge on our society. So do join us. Be brave. 
and fly free. <laughs> and I would like to thank Rukaya for being smile with us. Smile free. <laughs> Lovely. Smile and fly free. We'll have to put them together. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. So thank you. I'll put uh, Rukaya's contact details under the video. Please do reach out to her or to me, Lois, your friend for forgiveness on walking without skin. Thank you so much, Rukaya. Thank you. Thank you so much.